So May 24 in winter. Oh, look at the wine, look at the wine. But first, we'll get the fortune teller. They are very happy again today, Jesus Christ, man. How do I deal with this? Maybe I just won't do the animals today. I might just literally not, because that's holding me back. You know, to make that extra 4K per day, like seriously. It doesn't matter that much. They're not gonna hold it against you. Well, wait, 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 here. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's, uh, oh God, look at this, man, what a mess. That's the thing, though, you gotta, okay. Let's just fill these up, here we go. Nope. Ooh, no. nope. Mm -hmm. so you can totally reach these. You can reach this one here. Uh, let's see, we got these two right here. And down here. Oh, oh my god, stop doing that. Okay, and then this one over here. Uh, is that all of them? I'm gonna take a quick look over this once again. I say a quick look, as in, like, not a good look. <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure I have the time. Well, that fills them out, which means we can sell the rest. Hell yeah. It's only two of them, but whatever. I got 500 stone over here. Um, let's see, sell that, 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 Oh, these Omni Geodes. <laughs> I mean, I literally don't even think these are worth the time it would take to bust them open. I, this is gonna be so bad, like, every single one of these videos now is gonna be me just smashing my head against the brick wall that is these mines. So I can get to floor 100. I can't believe I've made it there twice now, and both times I've gotten screwed because I jumped in a hole. Like, holy crap, I didn't bring any survival food. Hmm. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll let her go ahead and do her thing. Because it'll still take her a while to get up here. And I can go grab some and then come back and probably catch her on the way back. I'm gonna get this. I'm telling you, man. We're gonna do it. Spirits are very happy today. We have spicy eel going in. Not like we remember to eat it on the second floor, no. We got it from the beginning. This area is overrun with monsters. First floor can do that? Well, that's new. That's new to me, anyway. Maybe it's always been a thing, I don't know. Oh, I didn't bring any stone, so we're already looking pretty bad here. Any time that we may have saved by screwing with Pam is now lost to this. Alright, stop hitting me now. They told business to do that. What did I not notice this time? Oh, <laughs> just you. And you. Get over here. There you are. Okay. Yes, the way down has appeared. Can we actually do some mining here? Get some stone. Ah ha ha! I knocked it back with my pickaxe there. I was like that. Oh my god, really? Really, dude? Are you that pissed off that I left you behind on the previous floor? What? I thought it cleared up. I think it only cleared up because I ate the food. So it just appeared to clear up, but it didn't really. Okay, that's fine. Not the best start, but then again, our last trip we didn't find a hole till floor 11. Or 12 even. Jeez, every single floor so far has done this now. Oh, sure, fly away now. Two days in a row with supposedly max luck and not a single hole in the first 11 floors, and this one's 13 we haven't seen one. Tell you what, man. I sort of wonder how legitimate this whole so-called luck thing even is. I thought about like making lucky lunches. You know, maybe try to increase it, but if you do that, then you give up the faster walking speed. Which I'm not sure if the trade-off of that is even worth it. I suppose the only way you can know for sure would be to actually experiment though, huh? There's our first hole on floor 17. Go figure. 
Is that some crab cakes? Oh, sure, you gotta come in to welcome the party, huh? I don't think so. Yeah, 6, 10 p.m., 28, level 28, that's not too good, really, honestly. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, holy, oh boy, this again, huh? Some more of them crab cakes, huh? What, do you think I'm gonna give up just because you throw all that at me? Oh my god, like, oh, you're gonna let me do anything anymore? Have you just decided permanently now that I'm not allowed to mine anymore? Because that's sure what it's coming across like. Uh, seven levels, oh, that's a little better. It's actually a lot better. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> Alright. Over one of the monsters, you say. Well, allow me. There's no point, though. If you're not getting to 100, you might as well just take the drops. So you know the drops will be good. Because you got the burglar ring, so... Even if it ends up being just a little more money. Two or three hundred worth, maybe. Let's get you. Okay, okay, I got you. I knew what you were gonna be. Oh, that wasn't bad at all, jeez. Oh, more crab cakes. Sure are getting to eat a lot of those lately. They're good, though. They actually sound good. I don't- I'm not sure if I've ever actually eaten a crab cake in my life. But I can kind of picture what one tastes like. So I feel like maybe I have had one. I don't know. <laughs> oh, gee, it's almost midnight already. And we made it to floor 51. That did not feel like a good luck day whatsoever. It's good in the sense that we've had a lot of floors like this, where there's been stuff, really high quantities of mineables, whatever we call them. <laughs> but just really nothing to show for it in the way of progress. You know, you could leave the mines at 1 o'clock, go back home, or you could stay down here costing yourself 1,000 gold. Which, you know, stone costs a hundred, so, and you're probably going to find more than ten stone in that extra hour that you stay down here. So, <laughs> so that's how ridiculous the stone prices are. So much so that, like, the stone alone that you pick up by staying down here that extra hour is worth more than you would have had to pay for the fact that you did stay down here an extra hour. If that makes any sense. I'm gonna try not to die here before... before I pass out. <laughs> did we get this iridium? Yeah, we did. I got the iridium. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Man, just those two... Oh my god, what is that? Wait a minute, Santa? Oh, of course, because it's Christmas Eve, yeah. Oh. Just those three ancient fruit wines. Look at that, man. It's amazing, it is. And the more the Grinch thought of it, oh, I must stop Christmas from coming. But how? Alright. Well, first I can try bring my ancient fruits into the kegs. Look out! <laughs> what a great Grinchy trick. Last night at Joja Team. Yeah. <laughs> Made you a little treat this morning and saloon dig in. Pancakes? Hell yeah. What kind of a saloon makes pancakes, you my man? Dig in, yeah. Alright. Uh, let's put away what we got here. This, this, we still have seven spicy eels, wow. Okay, where does that put us on stone now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six stacks of it. Like, basically, if you want to get as far as you possibly can, you want to need as many stacks as you can carry down here. So this is just like a fourth of what we want. And look how long it's taken us. 
to just get even half of that. Well, to get it all together, really, that's like, this is the entire game here. Gonna be making more of them truffles. How did the pig have a baby? Did he just reproduce asexually or something here? I don't know. Maybe it's better we don't know. I don't want to imagine. I hope he didn't do it with a goat or something. Did Gannon Jr. be part goat? I could see that, though. Oh! No, 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 let me go back. I don't have my gift. <laughs> I didn't bring my gift. I'm so I can reset. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna reset. Today is the time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day and relax. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. <laughs> oh, baby. Hey. Ah, still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. What a beautiful tree. Aw. Penny always being cheerful even when everyone around her is so mad. She reminds me so much of myself. My sales figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Ooh, I had too much nog. Poop. I know some people who believe in spirits of magic, but me, I never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. Gotcha. All these happy families, but for me, just another lonely year. Jacking off to Emily, who won't give me the time of day. Surely isn't it? It's a fine art, making candy canes. You really got to search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. Gas was just telling me about his artisan candy canes. Huh. Think of Einhorn. I'm thankful there were no medical emergencies this year. I'm running out of voices. What are you hoping to find under the spirit tree? Oh, I don't know. It's a new watering can. Oh. Uh, boots. I don't know. <laughs> a new camera. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but do I get to pick it? Yeah. Oh, so it's you. Hot tulip, thanks. You're welcome. And what did we get? Probably another pair of socks. Oh, it's me! Hey! Well. Hey, Capri Sun, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it. I can't wait for you to see this. Oh. Twelve! A dozen eggs! You received a dozen eggs. You can make scrambled eggs for breakfast for the next three days. Dude, it's fine. Thank you. You're awesome. That was awesome. I was afraid you were going to give me clay. Because I do believe that does happen to people. Oh, hello. Again, goodbye. Mm -hmm. Hiya, welcome to join our family table if you need company. Oh, if I need company, sure. Here, I'll go sit over by Nurse Maru over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, nice hanging out with y'all. Oh, also... Mwah. See y'all later. Do -do 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 I hope I didn't miss anything there. I don't think I did. It's just an exchange of presents. That's all. A nice, easy, short day. Oh, shoot. I should have put something in the things, man. I could have been doing that all this time. Ah, uh, yeah, well. You got some nerve, Tim. You just threw away your Christmas gift into the trash. Oh, man. I hope the mayor doesn't tell her about it when he comes to collect my shite. Every time I see that master slingshot, I think of that video that I saw of that person so eloquently just slinging bombs all around the mines. Just wrecking everything. And thinking, you know, that's what I should do. But I'd have, then I'd have to practice and be like, Alright, I guess that's enough organizing for one day. Yeah, pretty soon we'll start making truffle oil again. What else can we sell from here? Maybe we should do some winter cleaning here. Like, look at all this honey, man. Here, let's sell 20 of it. 
So what if you just end up never doing anything with it? These pomegranates, man. Fifteen of them, sell them. Fifteen of these. Twenty of them, sell them. These beets. These peaches. Come from a can. They were put there by a man. In cloth. I'm just gonna put it all in. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm purging here. A little bit. This is my Christmas gift to myself. More space. I should just make another chest right over here. I wish I could just set it on the table. Hey, hang on a second. Hey, let me see something. Oh, I thought maybe I could set the watering can on the table. That would have been cool. Oh well. Holy crap, look at this milk. Okay, so like what I did here, well since I had two days worth of cow's milk, I decided to sell the milk itself rather than turn it into cheese, but look at this. Four large milk iridium stars worth more than five cheese gold star. Go figure. Void egg. Oh, well, void mayonnaise is definitely still worth more. I don't know about duck mayonnaise. I've never heard of duck mayonnaise before. It was a minor purge, but we, uh... We made a little profit there. 58,000, man. Oh, did I even smelt anything? Shoot, I never... Oh, my God. I was about to, and then I, like, got distracted. I don't know what was going on there. Yeah, fortune teller. At least now, like, when we have ancient wine come out of the things, um, we can, uh, just sell it. I'm very displeased today, huh? Oh, let's see. Here's a vegetable from the little garden that I keep out back. You probably have more veggies than you know what to do with, but oh well. Potato. I'll take a potato. Oh, yeah. I'll just bake that sucker right up. I'm kind of curious, how much oak resin do I actually have on me right now? Huh, we have five. That's kind of strange, I don't know. We may actually have to chop down trees next year, I can't believe it. Alright, so, keg, 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 keg. I mean, I could just put them in here. Hell, I got this beer factory going on here. Alright, here, we're gonna start right down here. Poop and poop. And I brought the ancient fruits to stick them right on in. Alright, that's more ancient wine going here. So another 16 bottles of it. Alright, so, well, various displeased spirits means one thing and one thing only. We should go gifting. You know what I should do is go play that game in the arcade. It's just that I haven't practiced it, and I need to practice it. I don't want to practice because I have to do that on another file, and it's like, ugh. I'm missing out on money because of this. You could have had a thousand. You could have had a hundred thousand profit last night if you would have been doing this. Should have brought my fishing pole, I guess, huh? Harvey. Hydro! Oh, alright. Wait, I don't have any quartz. Oh, yeah, I do have quartz. It's in here. Okay, cool. Uh, quartz. Go for it. That's such a nice gift. Thank you. I mean, I guess we might as well keep... Keep hammering out these rabbit's feet. What else are you gonna do? Want to make fried calamari? Really? Like, I probably actually have the recipe for that at this point. That's why Pierre's up to nine hearts now. Oh, you know what? I'm up to two gifts for most people this week already. Because I gifted him a bunch on Sunday, too, didn't I? Well, I got some Iridium Star pomegranates for you, Mr. Elliot. Whoa, those are plums, not pomegranates. Don't have any more duck's feathers? Okay, well then, here you go. Yes, I know. These are some beautiful shells. Thank you. it over here. Picking up some fishies. Or just whatever. Sam, I only got eight hearts with you. I need to give you a thing to get those last two unlocked, so I guess not much I can do about you right now. Well, let me see if your dad's home. Yo, he's home, alright. So I can... Oh crap. Well shoot, I came all this way thinking I had something for you there, buddy. 
Guess I didn't. Oh well. Oh, look at this. Wow, three worms over here. Bloop. Bloop. And bloop. I do have it? Oh my god, I am a moron. I'm a moron. I really am, you guys. I'm like the, the world's biggest moron right now. I mean, I will admit, the stuff doesn't exactly stand out. It looks like probably about as tasty as MRIs, so. Wow, only seven hearts with you? Okay, uh, well, let's fix that then. Oh, it's your favorite because it just is. You know what? Here, you can have one too. We're just making do here. Oh no, he left. Where did he go? Oh no. Couldn't have gone far. Yeah, let me see. We have a cutscene. Hey, come check this out. It's my Etsy page. I bought a laptop and set up an online art shop like you suggested. The Wi-Fi really sucks out here though. Did you hear that? That means someone just bought something from the store. Hmm. There's this Mr. K that keeps buying all my sculptures. I guess it must be some rich guy who loves my stuff. Ugh. Wow, I'm not gonna have to worry about my electricity bill for a while after that sale. Anyway, thanks for giving me this idea. So far, it's been really successful. This is really gonna give me the funding I need to keep working on art full time. Now, sorry to ignore you, but I really need to tweak these CSS sheets. Oh, there we go. That was awesome. Hey, how's the business going? Here's a truffle. Celebrate. Did you ever get cold in that farmhouse of yours? Nope. We've got central heating. And I'm alright, cause here we have been standing for a long, long time. Bump! Da -da 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 -da. There you are. See, I got this thing after all. Oh, mom used to give me this when I was burping. Oh. <laughs> alright, sorry, I deploy my nose. Deploy my nose. It's just funny because normally when you say the word nose, you say the S in nose, you pronounce the S like a Z, like N-O-Z-E, like nose. What is it about a Z that makes it sound lispy? Like when you say N-O-Z-E, you want to be like nose or something, you know? Anyway, so when I say blow my nose and pronounce it as an S, it's like I'm just one of those weird third grade teachers who who has to pronounce everything perfectly and so so but they're but they're also somehow strangely fast at it. So like blow my nose, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, I'm at 1.5 million. I just now noticed that. I don't know what I'm doing up here. I don't I don't know what I'm doing in this game anymore. I really don't. I'm talking about the pronunciation of the word nose. That's what I'm doing. I'm blow my nose. Just, oh, I can't say that enough. It just sounds so weird. Like I feel like if I say it enough, I'll get used to it, and then <clears throat> you know, and then I like desensitize myself to it. But it never works. Like I never get desensitized to it. I'm always like blow my nose. It just sounds so weird. Just blow my nose. Blow my nose. Let's get some more of this going, so it'll be ready by tomorrow morning. Uh, we don't quite have enough for a full batch, but it doesn't matter. Because... Blip. Blop. Blop. So we definitely got enough gold for a couple batches here. Something about that word batch, too, you know, it's just... A, it's like, it sounds like you're beating somebody up, like, batch, baiter, smash, tater, you know. Plus there was that guitar, that, that guitar. That Detroit Lions quarterback, Charlie Batch. And he was, like, so bad. At least if my dad was, like, if my dad's opinion was anywhere near right, then he, like, sucked big ones. The, these plums. I need to get these plums out of here, because, like, I mean, I only kept the plum in there because I was going to make plum pudding with it eventually. But I sold the plum pudding, so now I'm selling the plum. Ooh, look at this. All right, Holly. Well, something about purple and red always looks good together, you know? I don't wear purple and red too often. Well, I don't really think about what I wear at all. 
Maybe I should think more about that. I just don't, you know. It's like I just throw on some random shirt. It's like I think 90% of my t-shirts are just black. You know, black or dark blue. I have like this one shirt that's white that has like all the Zelda rupees on it and their values. And it always looks so weird when I see myself wearing it because it's like, wow, you're wearing white? Like, what are you doing? What are you, Frosty the Snowman? <laughs> but no, white's a good color. I guess just black has that way of making you look slim, you know? And Lord knows I need all the help I can get in that department. <laughs> you know, when I was skinny, even Mom said this. I feel like something about me didn't look right when I was skinny. I guess, like, my eyes were all sunk in. Like, I saw this video of myself telling... That video on Breaking NCS where I tell my airport nightmare story. Just look at my eyes in that video. It's like, they were all... I looked like I hadn't slept in a month or something. I think it's one advantage of being as big as I am, is there's enough fat to kind of cushion or the area around my eyes so they don't look as bad as they are, but then that's all the more reason I need to get on with doing what I've been saying I was going to do for the last two years and see that sleep specialist, you know? Get it all set up, you know? At 11, 10 p.m.? Oh, that's probably Sebastian. Well, let's plow the road. Oh yeah, three snow yams, hell yeah. We'll be seeing these for much longer. Got three more days. I mean, I think at this point I might as well just finish out the season. Finish this recording session up in style, man. It's ready to go, man. I can't believe it's 7.30 already. Like in real life, I mean. It's getting late. It's getting dark outside. It's getting cold. Like, it was raining earlier, and I was afraid it was going to freeze, like last night, because the lows are getting down into the 30s here now. It's really too bad, you know? There was just no fall to speak of. Ooh, there's more oak resin, hell yeah! Let's grab the oak resin, hell yeah! You know, I might even have time to make two more kegs here. Boop, and boop, and boop, and boom! Look at that. Beautiful. Now that's how you make use of your oak resin right when it comes in, man. Let's go ahead and grab these diamonds here. And this. So we can maximize our profits here. Just like those business guys at the airport. Guess we really do have more in common than we thought we did. Well, than I thought we did. See, that's the thing. They don't think about things like that, I'm sure. Like, they're not looking at the random guy sitting in the seat over there with his 3DS or whatever and thinking, you know, well, I have absolutely no connection to that dude whatsoever. Like, they know, it's like, why do I care so much? None of my business. Anyway, last two days of winter, let's do it. 